Welcome back to Let the Quran Speak. Now, Mr. Shabir, uh, the, the topic for this uh, segment is going to be basically a, a fixation of violence that Muslims seem to have. Um, of course, it seems odd just saying that because I think we're supposed to be speaking against that. But um, the idea here is that when we look at the history of Muslims, it seems to be marked, uh, every history is marked by something. Our history seems to be marked by battles. Uh, you know, this battle happened and a year after that, this happened. Or um, if, if Muslims remember certain personalities, it's people like Salahuddin or, or Hamza who are known to be great warriors or Ali or whatever it may be. Um, doesn't that on its own just say something about the Muslim people that they seem to be really into their battles and the violence and etc.? Well, first we should clarify that not all Muslims are the same. Mm -hmm. um, to begin with, the vast majority of, of Muslims are, are very similar to their Canadian or other neighbors in that they have many of the same worries and concerns. Uh, they're struggling like everyone else to pay their bills. They're interested in working, having a good life, uh, having a good family, um, uh, friends, and so on. Uh, and many of the good things in, in life. And uh, they're attached to the religion in, a, in, uh, some, in varying degrees, we should say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, uh, so, so these people are not concerned with violence. Uh, to them, life just goes on. And they're like every other citizen in, in the country in which they, they live. Uh, but of course, as uh, some other citizens are good Christians and, and good Jews and, and good followers of other religions, the Muslim then is distinguished by the fact that he or she is, uh, is a good Muslim. Uh, but uh, in another category, we can say that there are some people who are quite devoted followers of Islam. Mm -hmm. Now, they would be slightly different from uh, other citizens in that uh, they spend much of their time thinking about and, and following the precepts of their religion. They're concerned with all of the Muslim holidays. Uh, they, they pay keen attention to all of the Muslim observances, like the five-time regular prayer, the fasting in Ramadan, making, instead of going to take a holiday somewhere else, they might prefer to go and make an Umrah or a visit to the sacred lands. Uh, and, and these are the devoted followers. Mm -hmm. uh, and they do not uh, concern themselves with uh, violence because there's so much of, of uh, Islamic uh, practices for them to uh, put in their own lives. They're just worried, am I getting it all done right to please my, my creator? And then there, there is a certain segment, which is a, a minority, but a very vocal one, which is concerned with the political situation in, in the present world. Mm -hmm. Some of these are devoted followers, to be sure. Some of them could be ordinary citizens in, in other respects, in that they're not so much concerned with uh, the, uh, the fundamental teachings of the faith, like praying and fasting and so on. They may not necessarily be doing all of this, but they have one thing in their minds, that somehow uh, most, uh, Islam and Muslims have to be triumphant, and we're not. And, and that means that something is terribly wrong with the world, and we have to fix it. So that is the fixation they have. And uh, that fixation uh, obviously has a long history. And, and that uh, history is, uh, is very convoluted and, and, uh, and difficult to untangle. But uh, we have to try. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go back to the early times. Uh, why, why, why are Muslim events marked by the big, the big battles? I mean, Muslim, many Muslim youth will be able to name the battles but not the Islamic calendar or the Muslim Islamic mm -hmm. calendar. So that says something. Yeah. To begin with, uh, the, uh, the situation in the time of the earliest Muslims uh, is very different from the situation in which we now live. Now we live on the other side of uh, world conventions, like the Geneva Convention, for example. Uh, these uh, modern conventions were put in place to make sure that countries will not attack each other at mm -hmm. the drop of a mm -hmm. hat. Of so we're enjoying this kind of situation of relative peace that somebody has to disturb, uh, or somebody may disturb, some lunatic. But in, in the time of the early Muslims, there were not these conventions, and people did go to war at the drop of a hat. And everyone had to live day in and day out with the fear that somebody might attack them and kill off either their tribe or their people or, or, or decimate their region. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So it, it was very uncommon to have a pact in place that assures that people will not attack each other. Mm -hmm. uh, so the general uh, uh, and prevailing presumption was that people are at war unless there is a pact in place, and there were few pacts. Mm 
So in that situation, Muslims, like everybody else, were struggling for dominance against others. So after the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, died, uh, there were struggles within the Muslim community. There were those who were considered to be uh, apostates, renegades, um, uh, differing from and going to war with the Muslim head of state, who was mm -hmm. Abu Bakr at the time. Abu Bakr took arms against them. And that uh, was followed by a series of successive battles in which the Muslim populace sort of widened their, their control of the region. And within a very short time, it looks like no matter where Muslims went, they would take over the region, they would become the dominant and ruling power. Many of the people at the time actually felt that it was good to have Muslims in power than to have some of the other people in power because Muslims had good principles to live by. They had to protect the non-Muslims who were citizens in, in their state. So they, mm -hmm. took, they, they, they did away with the oppressive regimes uh, and they instituted a period that would be uh, classified as a period of peace for many of the people uh, whose lands were now being controlled by a new power, but not mm -hmm. an oppressive one. Mm -hmm. uh, so this seemed to work very well. And many Muslim commentators saw this as the grace of God coming not only for the Muslims, but for all of these people who are being governed now. And they saw that this is how Islam must be. It must be a ruling power everywhere and take over from all of the oppressive powers everywhere so that people, not only Muslims, but others could also live in peace and safety and security. So is it the destiny of Muslims to take over the world? Well, but that of course put into place a sort of mindset where it became difficult to envision a kind of world in which we now live where people actually can live in harmony with each other, where people do not attack each other at the drop of a hat, where there can be conventions in place which say let's live and let let live. So this situation in which uh, many of the non-Muslim powers rose to a prominence and took over Muslim lands and colonized many Muslim regions uh, actually left uh, a, a very uh, uh, confused uh, state uh, in, uh, of mind for many of the Muslims because they could not imagine or, or understand why it is happening this way. If God's grace was with us during that expansive period, what has happened to it now? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it is in this state of confusion that uh, many are responding in with, with use of violence, using drastic and radical means uh, to try to overturn the world, to bring it back to the way it was, uh, not realizing that it cannot really come back to the way it was by their efforts. Uh, the, only the grace of God can change things for the better. But look at how much good we do have right now. Why do we want to change all of this good? Uh, mm -hmm. This is what needs to be understood. And uh, the, the confused state of mind is finding it difficult to grasp this. Thank you, Brother Shabir. You're welcome. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with our question and answer session. Please stay tuned. <laughs> 